Today on Explained, we are gonna be going over the Curry HD60 rear for a Jeep JT Wrangler. Hey, I'm Casey Curry, and today I wanna to give you guys some of the features of our HD60 rear for a JT. Starting off is the new Curry low pinion nodular iron uh, center section. This thing has been designed in house uh, we focused a lot on oil flow to make sure that basically uh, all the bearings are getting the optimal amount of oils for cooling purposes for basically heavy loads, long highway rides, and also just getting beat up on the rock. So with that, we put additional ribbing where we thought uh, the housing needed it, but we also took um, and optimized the bottom. So this way for ground clearance, we did everything we could to get the, the bottom of the casting as close to the ring gear as possible without taking away any performance advantage and without taking away any material to make it where there's going to be any leaks. So we got a lot of strength from the bottom. The additional ribbing and the cooling really makes the Curry low ping and casting uh, a pretty amazing uh, piece. So I'm very excited about this. Um, we've done a lot of testing with them and we've had great success. Now on our Curry low ping and cover, it's a nodular iron cover, super beefy. We did a lot of work to basically make sure that oil flow with the radius on the back of the cover so that we're getting optimal oil flow on the inside. But with that, we know that everyone's smashing rocks. So we wanted to be able, you know, smashing all the rocks all day long and not have the thing cave into the uh, ring gear. And we really wanted to make sure that we didn't have any problems with anything moving in or, or shifting and making the silicone come loose. So the nodule iron uh, cover is a phenomenal piece. So it also has a oil port so basically what you can do is add oil into it uh, once you find your mark you can mark where your oil level is so when you want to check it it's got a nice uh, dipstick to be able to check oil levels up anytime all of our curry 60s uh, come with a three and a half inch three eighths wall tubing uh, it's dom tubing um, it is more than twice as strong as any stock cheap wrangler axle uh, with this tubing uh, it's pressed in with rosette welds uh, everything is done right here in Corona, California, uh, but the tubing is literally the strength of what makes us all come together. So the additional ribbing on the casting with its, the uh, tubes pressed in with rosette welds really give you the benefit and features of having no bent axles, which bent axles is the start of a lot of other problems. Next is the brackets. So all the brackets on here are 316 steel. Um, the geometry is designed around stock, so everything is a plug and play for stock. So as you can see, it, the features and the holes make it really nice and give you a lot of strength. So we added some material where needed. Uh, we put nice skid plates on the bottom of all the bottom brackets that will be smashing into rocks so that way you're not going to get folding tabs. Um, one thing we did do, uh, which you know, we're excited about, is on our HC60, you know, it utilizes stock brakes. So no extensions needed. You can literally take your stock parking brake cables and they clip right on. So all the brackets are designed to be a plug and play. No grinding, no welding, just plug and play. Uh, one thing on the track bar, we do have the stock location and we have a raised location. So anything that has a lift Jeep, we can get that track bar raised to get your, uh, all your geometry back to the stock location. So the brackets are really an amazing feature about making it plug and play. Next is our housing ends. Um, it's a forged housing end. It's basically designed around a set 80 roller bearing. With that, we created our own retainer ring uh, and we have our own tone ring made. So basically you take your stock brakes, uh, you take the backing plate off, you, you wedge the backing plate between the retainer plate and the housing in, uh, and then basically you put your stock rotor and caliper on, giving you your Jeep the same brake that it had before. Uh, with that, they've done a lot of research on the brakes. The brakes are phenomenal. Everyone's running up to 40 inch tires with the brakes, so for us, everything adequate with the brakes has been phenomenal. So it is truly a plug and play uh, housing in uh, this way. All the wires, everything is ran in the same spot. Even for us on our brackets, we designed everything so that your stock brake lines with all the stock uh, mounts on the brake lines uh, will bolt right up to this as well. So our Curry axles, one of the biggest benefits I feel that we have going for ourselves on our HG program, this is a 40 spline, 4340 axle. It is a massive, massive axle. But what's nice about it, it still uses a stock five on five bolt pattern with the 14 millimeter stud. So now you don't have to go out and get new wheels. You don't have to get new, new rims, new lug nuts, no nothing. Everything on the outside works. So 40 spline axle all the way throughout. 
Another feature on our axles um, that I wanted to bring up was a lot of people get concerned over a flanged axle, which built wrong can have a lot of problems, right? They can bend. It's not just a braking problem, but it's also a bending problem. So one thing we did on our 40 spline axles is we added a lot of material right where the flange meets the axle axle shaft. So with all the added material there, it's going to be a lot harder to bend that axle shaft. Now, if we get to the inside, uh, everything is 40 spline. Uh, we have an air locker and an electric, electric locker option. Um, with that, we go and have a Dana 60 uh, standard rotation gear, and it does utilize all Dana 60 bearings. So if you're out on the road, on a trip, anywhere around the country or around the world, you can get the seals and the bearings at any auto parts store, which make it really nice for the fact that if you do have a problem or you do need a solution, you can go to any auto parts store you want and get the solution. The yoke is a 1350 yoke. Any aftermarket dry shaft company, uh, the aftermarket dry shafts that are available uh, at most four wheel part shops are plug and play for a 1350, making it a very easy bolt in replacement. All of our housings are powder coated in a satin black. One thing we try to make sure is to get everything powder coated. I don't want those housings rusting or having any problems out on the trail or just looking bad under the Jeep. So everything is powder coated in satin black. I do have some axles I want to show you so you can see the difference between stock and our 40 spline chromoly axles. So one thing I wanted to show you guys is the difference in axle sizes and material. Here is the 32 spline JLJT rear axle. It's a low carbon alloy uh, versus our 4340 40 spline axle. So the, the material difference helps tremendously. And then there's the size. So obviously you could see how much bigger in diameter the 40 spline is over the 32 spline. So when it comes to those big rocks, big tires, the 40 spline is definitely gonna get you where you need to go. Another feature that we have is our additional skid plate. First, the design that we did was to optimize ground clearance. We really wanted to do a lot of work to get the thing as high and as tight as we could. We know that no one likes to see their castings wearing out on all those gnarly rocks, especially up in Johnson Valley and Moab where the rocks really can do a, a number on the casting. So we wrapped it around the sides uh, so that way we can cover a lot on the sides and then we actually went up on the lip to cover the back of the cover. So that way when you're smashing into a rock backing up or when you're falling off, you're not going to you know, pull the lip or the silicone uh, out of your cover. So in the front, it protects all the oiling port on the bottom and literally does a nice round up all the way up so you're not going to have any ledges that get stuck on so everything moves in a way that you're never going to get bottlenecked or stuck so everything is in a way that it's positioned to keep moving so new chrome molly skid plate it's an add-on for all of our low ping in 60s i hope this answered all your questions if you have any more questions write us an email give us a phone call shoot us a message or even write us right here on youtube anything you need please let us know If you like this video, subscribe here. For more Curry Tech videos, click right here. And for other Curry content, click right here. Thanks for watching, guys.